Hello everyone, welcome to part 46 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce landing panel and after that we are going to work on the e-commerce website as well and now we are going to start working on the product images module okay we are going to work on the product images and in this video we are going to create the uh, table for the product images and we'll also insert some of the dummy images with the help of the seeder names of the uh, product images we are going to insert with the help of seeder in the product images table that we are going to create okay uh, so let's start and uh, uh, you can subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet that you can subscribe the channel okay youtube.com slash tech developers please subscribe the channel for all updates so that you will not miss any update okay so you can subscribe and you can always join the channel if you want to get the source code okay so if you don't have that much time then you can always join the channel to get the source code and it will also help you to compare the code compare my code with your code to resolve the issue so that you will not stuck anywhere and you will also get the complete support as well okay so uh, now let's come back to the enemy panel i'm going to log in into the enemy panel and uh, see i want to show you one thing like this thing we are going to remove now uh, this file is only catered for testing purpose your load uh, admin lt demo.js okay i'm going to remove this thing from the enemy panel many of my friends are saying to remove this thing so now it's the time that we are going to remove this thing so uh, we are going to open here the demo.js file demo.js located at admin js okay uh, see it is located inside the uh, public slash admin slash js then slash demo.js in the video description you will get the complete path as well okay so you are just required to disable this alert that is not required okay we are going to disable this alert and now i'm going to log out and we'll try again okay so i'm going to click on okay for now and not now and now i'm going to click on logout okay i'm going to clear the cache as well okay uh, so so that i can able to test it that uh, uh, sorry what is oh, I will open i am going to close this one okay so i am going to clear the cache here okay okay so i am going to open and here uh, for for last one hour i am going to clear the data okay once i clear the cache i am going to refresh this one and going to log in this time and see now i will not receive any kind of that alert okay so the alert is gone so now uh, we are going to insert the product underscore images table and for that uh, we are uh, we can create the table either from the database okay uh, from the php my admin and or from the migration command okay so we are going to create the table from the migration command i'm going to close this demo.js file and now i'm going to run it and i'm going to run the migration command i will right click on my project folder new terminal folder and i'm going to run the migration command here straight away okay so uh, i'm going to create the new migration file php addition make migration okay so i'm going to uh, create the name like uh, create products images table okay products underscore images underscore table i'm going to create this file okay so it will take just few seconds to create this file and now i'm going to open create underscore product underscore images table okay so here uh, i am going to add dollar table in here so here product id i'm going to add the product id here so after that i'm going to add here string and here i'm going to add the image sort okay for in here as well image sort for sorting the images and uh, one more column i'm going to add tiny interior column i'm going to add for the status so i'm going to create the product on images table for inserting the product images and first column is the product id so that i can asset the image with this product id and after that the image name come itself image okay you can also make it like the image underscore name if you want to uh, create like this image underscore name also uh, you can add here okay 
uh, otherwise it is understood that image means image and name itself okay in here you can either make it like sort or image sort for the sorting of the images like one two three four that which image you want at the first uh, first uh, position like at the top like in the listing page which image you are going to show okay so it is uh, the sorting of the image so after that the status like if you will disable the status then it will get disabled uh, that it then that it means that we are not going to show this image at the front end okay so that means the status so uh, so we are going to create this table straight away so i'm going to run the php artisan migrate command artisan migrate so it will create this pretense code image table i'm going to check it i'm going to refresh here and here our uh, table has been created you can see with all the required columns product id image image underscore sort status create and update okay all the columns are fine all the data type uh, data types are fine okay so now we can move further and we can now uh, create the model as well first of all we are going to create the model as well okay so after that we are going to create some of the images with the help of cedar we're going to insert some of the images with the help of cedar first we are going to create the model php artisan make model and here the model name we're going to uh, make that is the products image okay so this is the model name and after that we are going to insert uh, going to create the cedar file now okay so we are going to run the command php addition make cedar php addition make cedar and here the name i'm going to make it like products images table cedar table cedar okay so it has been created product images table cedar i'm going to open this one products images table cedar products images table cedar so here we are going to include the model first of all we are going to include the model models products image okay so this here we are going to insert the dummy product images dollar products uh, product images report we are going to take the array like this here we are going to add all id 1 product id c suppose we are going to insert the images for the product id 1 okay uh, and suppose the image name is uh, uh, suppose 1.jpg and uh, image sort sort we are going to make it uh, 1 okay and finally status status also uh, we are going to make this status as one as well so this one i'm going to insert two more times and here at last uh, we'll see already one here two three and here also id will be two and three okay so here i uh, see there are so it means there are three product images one with the name one dot jpg another one two dot jpg and another one three dot jpg and uh, see image sort also one two three see we are going to keep one dot jpg at all places okay we are going to show see this one is the default image this one is the main image okay we can say the main image see earlier on uh, like i am telling you that there are many changes we are going to do uh, in this laravel 10 series uh, there is no thing like this in laravel 9 laravel 9 is having the main image but here we don't have any kind of main image field okay so here we are going uh, the first one the sort one is our main image the number that is one uh, is the main image okay we can make it a uh, main image or it's your choice if you want to uh, make the three means increasing or decreasing order is our choice that we are going to do at the front end don't worry about this thing at uh, at this time okay so right now just we will sort the images with the numbers one two three okay so after that we are going to insert these images in the uh, table okay products image and i'm going to insert sorry products image insert and this 
records I'm going to insert now so I'm going to open uh, a database seeder and here I'm going to comment this one and here I'm going to add this seeder dot images table seeder and finally going to run the command php artisan db seed php artisan db seed okay here we i'm going to close this one and here you can see we are running this command okay php artisan db seed okay this one so i'm going to run this one see it has been created inserted seeding database okay so now i am going to check here and you can see i able to insert the three images uh, in fact the image name in the pregnant score images table okay that refer that the product id is having the three images okay so now uh, in the next video we are going to add these images from the product form from the add edit product form here we are going to add the field from where we are going to add the multiple images okay after that we are going to show them as well with the delete and sort option so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye